Hey, 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 Taurus, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekly circle of life reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Tauruses. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. So Taurus, the circle of life reading for all of you who don't know, is a reading designed to keep you in line with the body, mind, and spirit so that you are primed for uh, manifestation of your desires, okay, and your wishes, what you think about, you bring about, and what you feel, you also put out into the universe, that spirit of what it is that you desire. And then, of course, taking actions on um, that which you do desire, Okay, all of these are important and they must line up in order for you to bring closer your manifested dreams. Okay, all right, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want a reading, link is in the description box below. Make sure you utilize that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link. Uh, that unlisted link, make sure you're using, that will take you to my Etsy shop where if you put in an order, you will get a message from me stating the turnaround time and let's see. Yep, and know that I do not do phone readings and you will also get an unlisted link when your reading is complete from my email, yoursacredscribe at gmail.com. So if your reading is not here on this channel and you don't receive an email from me, it's not from me and let me know. All right, so let's get to your body. You have the Seven of Swords. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Nine of Wands. And you have the Three of Swords. Okay. So, Taurus. I feel like you need to do a lot of cardio. For some of you, it... Go with your gut on this. Because for some of you, I'm feeling it is gentle. Okay. Instead of running, walking. Things like that. For others of you, I feel like you need to break out of your cage and it should be faster. So it's it's like one extreme or the other with you. Now, I do want to get clarification on this Seven of Swords. Whoops. Okay, so let's clarify here. Hang on. Dropped a card. We have the Nine of Swords clarifying the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're guarded, okay? With the Nine of Wands, your body is guarded. So you need to let go. You need to let go of emotions that have been built up inside of you because you're, you're healing, okay? With the Three of Swords. I feel like because of Mercury retrograde, uh, past situations may come up. And this is causing you to, you know, bring that guard back up, those wounds. And perhaps you may have ran away from some situation or some pattern, okay, that I feel like you discovered. That's what I'm getting. Within a situation, within this three of swords, and it's because of this Nine of Wands that you didn't discover it. Okay. So now you're realizing this. I do feel like you will discover it, but you need to let this energy go. So through letting the energy go and loosening up and opening up because it releases resistance, I do feel that this Ten of Cups, you're going to begin to feel this Ten of Cups here. This emotional fulfillment. Yeah. The Empress. This is going to center you, okay, releasing this energy, right? And it's going to speed up your manifestations. 
Prince of Wands. This is clarifying uh, the Ten of Cups, okay? So there's something that you're going to manifest, but you need to break through this wall. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, ooh, the Six of Pentacles, and the Prince of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like, you know, you may have been in a situation where you were emotionally manipulated. People may have lied to you with the Seven of Swords and Five of Swords. Yeah, it's like, so now when you're getting things offered to you, opportunities offered to you, I feel like you don't trust it. Okay, but I do feel like something's getting this movement, right? Getting your body moving is going to change you. It's going to change where your life is at because it's going to get it moving quicker. And the Six of Pentacles here, there is some balance that's needed. Some of you may be trying to balance love and work or two people. All right, you don't know it yet, but what you have been waiting for is here, is coming. There's a there's a new freaking beginning. So clarifying the Three of Swords is the King of Swords, that's Libra energy, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Wow. So some of you may have had a family with this person with the Ten of Cups there. Clarifying the two, the Nine of Wands. Okay, now there was a lot of passion there with the Eight of Wands. I feel like it's you, you, it's the King and Queen of Swords, and that's all mental. So in order to get this energy out, you're thinking about the passion, you're thinking about this person, you're thinking about how you were emotionally fulfilled at that time, right? Because I'm getting this as past. And I feel like there's a need to break out of this, break out of this place, okay? When you rediscover, how can I put this? Whatever it is that was missing, that you ran away from, that you were supposed to heal, and it's popping up again, I feel like that is when you break free. And this is the fool. Okay, so you're guarded as far as making some sort of decision. It could be a decision between two people. Whatever this decision is, it, somehow it's triggering this past relationship. And you're blocking yourself from this new beginning. So you need to leap forward. Okay. You need to leap forward. Your body needs to move. You, you need to start acting, okay, on whatever it is that you're desiring, that you're wanting. So there are some concerns here. All right. Great fortune. Imprisonment. And courthouse. So this is that decision. This is you all up in your head, right? But this is what's waiting for you, this great fortune message. So some of you could be confused about a love situation. Maybe you're uh, getting some sort of message that is confusing. I do feel like using your intuition is good, but you need to move your body. That's what I'm getting. You need to move your body and the actions that you're taking need to be a step closer to what it is that you want. Now, I did pull an oracle card with each section here and you have perfectionism. Be content to know perfection as a distant utopian goal to which we journey but never arrive. So don't seek perfection in anything. Don't wait on something because it's not perfect. Okay, you know, there's never a perfect time to do anything. 
And I feel like you just got to throw caution to the wind and just do it. No matter where you're at now, just do it, right? Just keep moving toward it. It doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. What it means is just keep moving towards whatever it is that you're desiring. So your challenge here, my challenge right now is communication with Mercury retrograde. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right, so challenging, okay, in your challenge position, you have the 10 of pentacles. The, oh, sorry, not in your challenge position. This is your mind. Sorry, wrong reading. Ten of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the Strength card. So I like what's going on in your mind, Taurus, because you're thinking about opportunities coming at you. You're thinking about abundance and building a legacy and just feeling good and committing to something. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is marriage. You could be thinking about marriage. But this is good because, like I said, what you think about, you bring about. So you're thinking about having strength about going forward and doing something, right? Regardless of competition out there, because five of uh, wands can be competition. The tower, the six of swords, and the three of pentacles. So... You're thinking about something that has come in that's about to change your entire life. So we have death. There's a major, wow. Clarifying the tower, you have death in the hair fonts. Wow. So there's a major awakening to the self. There's a major transformation. What is the tower? Queen of Wands, so wow. You're determined to manifest, okay? No matter what is going on. I feel like this transformation, whatever is coming in to change your world, okay, is blowing the lid off your hmm, spirituality, I want to say. It's elevating you, especially with the Queen of Wands. I feel like you are the Queen of Wands. You are the Hierophant, okay? You are transforming, transmuting energy let's get some kipper this is interesting what's going on in your mind so i like what you're thinking and this is work so this may have to do with work you also have moving here trying to find peace amidst the chaos sort of a temperance vibe right so you're thinking about what you want to build and you're thinking big so you need to keep doing this. You need to keep looking at your beliefs. You need to keep connecting with spirit. Okay? Ooh, see? Look at this. You have child, main female, coffin. So there is an ending and a beginning to something. Okay, you've got it in the death card. You've got it in the coffin card. You are overcoming some sort of fear with the child in the, um, I was going to say high priestess because it's number two, the main female. And here I'm getting, actually all this week with this main female card, that's the vibe that I'm getting is this high priestess vibe. So you're utilizing your intuition. You're overcoming this fear. Whatever the spirit is, what is the child? Thoughts, unexpected income, despair, poverty, adjudication. Wow. So you've got a lot going on in your mind, Taurus. You have a lot going on. You have decisions that you're making. And you, this is... These are thoughts that you need to decipher so that you can process them and release them. And these may have to do with this fear, right? This despair and poverty. It's falling under the main female. So utilizing your intuition to guide yourself through this despair, this lack mentality. Okay. Let me get a advice card for this row. 
the hanged man. You need to see something from a different perspective. This is Piscean energy. And this is like wait and see. Two of cups. I feel like you need to take a step back and, and wait and see. We have the Oracle card, timing. If you are in the creative flow, you feel everything flowing together in divine order. Okay, and that's 73, which is a 10. Beginnings and endings. So timing seems to be important here. So take your time in doing things, but also see something from a different perspective. Love could be on your mind, but this is also something that you love. Okay, so whatever it is that you're loving, that you're wanting to manifest that you love you need to look at this from a different perspective so your spirit you have the two of swords you have the king of pentacles you have the ace of cups and the eight of swords so this imprisonment again right this eight of swords energy all up in your head you could be all up in your head about money with the king of pentacles i do feel that you're going to overcome it I do, it, this is very interesting because in your mind, I feel like you will overcome it, but you need to stay focused, not on the lack, but on the desire, okay, and what you want to manifest in the feeling, in the thoughts, okay, connecting your thoughts with your body, okay, to move towards this with that Queen of Wands energy, and then allowing the emotions to take place and bringing the spirit in all right so opening up that heart with the ace of cups in the spirit i feel like breathing and anything that opens up the heart um maybe qigong um let's see because there's this stuckness in the heart space that needs to be open so meditation heart meditations, okay, um, green, I'm getting, well, the heart is, the color of the heart chakra is green, so wearing green, I'm getting, uh, being out in nature, right, because that's green, I feel like it's going to serve you, we have justice, we have the high priestess, oh my gosh, we have the emperor, so, allowing your spirit to really soar this is what i'm getting and trusting in the universe trusting that the universe has your back meditation is huge you have an angel here that that wants to help you seeing you through these times of need Okay, you have the chariot here. So your spirit really wants to fly forward. Okay, this chariot energy connecting to the divine within you. Yeah, your higher self and allowing this to lead you forward. Okay, so if you're feeling heavy, because this Ten of Wands is like a burden, right, on your back. It's also work. So if you're feeling overworked, you need to, you need to get out in open spaces. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Prince of Cups, opening up the heart space because something is ending. And listening to that intuition is very, very key. All right, so with indecision, oh, this is the oracle card that you have for this section. Indecision, decide not to make a decision at this time. This will be a constructive, valid, and useful decision. So if you're not sure what to do about something, stop and say, you know what, I'm not making a de decision yet. I am going to meditate. I'm going to meditate for three days and I'm going to sit, I'm just going to not make any decision. Okay. So I do feel like this past love relationship 
I, there's something, there's a block that's in your body that needs to be released. And this is going to help your spirit tremendously. Okay, this fear, this is in your mind too. So everything is connected. You need to move your body. You need to do things that are going to help your heart. Okay, you need to meditate and do a heart meditation. You have a fear here that you will overcome, all right, that's in your mind, but you really need to slow down for a moment to catch this. It's like catch the wave, right? Catch this wave of emotion so that you can actually understand what it is that you need to do and catch the wave and then the star comes up that's funny okay what it is that you need to do to make your wishes come true and it's within your spirit within your heart space that fear whatever it is whatever it is from childhood um, once that is overcome okay you're setting your spirit free you're setting your spirit free and then and then anything is possible right so taurus that's what i have for you i hope that resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box if you are interested as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receiving an unlisted link make sure you're utilizing that link as it will bring you to my etsy shop that's the only place that you can purchase a reading you will always get a message from me confirming your order and letting you know the turnaround time. And you will also receive an email from me that will include an unlisted link from my email, yoursacredscribe at gmail.com. That link will bring you back here to this YouTube page where you can view your video for as long as you wish. Know that I do not do telephone readings and you'll always see my face so i hope that resonated taurus you have a great week and i will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot namaste